Hey guys, today we are at Ikebukuro Station. Oh my goodness, this place crowded as usual. That's the Tobe department store. It's still November. However, as you can see, it's already Christmas decor here. Since we don't have Thanksgiving, after the Halloween, directly jump to the Christmas. It's a nice Christmas tree. Beautiful. I love Christmas season. Ah, uh, interesting. They are selling the traditional Japanese sweets. Daifuku? It's the mochi rice cake, but been pasted inside. It seems like this is a green tea flavor. It's from Sugamo, where we are heading to in this video today. Oh, nice. It's a Pokemon vending machine. <laughs> Pikachu is introducing the many Pokemon stuff. If I stir touch it, will it stir it? No, <laughs> it doesn't stir it. Oh, I need to find the language first. Okay, so English. They have the Pokemon card also. That's the stuffed toy running Pikachu. Oh, it's cute. Price is 1,650 Japanese yen. Nice. That's the Pokemon stand. So firstly, let's explore the west exit. Compared to east part of Ikebukuro, west part of Ikebukuro is kind of quiet. Nice atmosphere though. Let me show you guys how it looks like. Oh really? Look at this coin locker. Usually coin lockers charge for 24 hours and at the beginning they charge it like 400 to 500 Japanese yen. However, this one, hourly charge. 4 hours, 100 Japanese yen. So if you just use it for the short period, probably this coin locker would be the best. However, they can only keep it for 3 days. After 3 days, they will take it away. So you gotta be careful if you are using the coin locker in Japan. Oh, that's one of my favorite anime, Oshinoko. It's really interesting influencer anime. If you are interested in Japanese idol, or influencers. Recommend it. Here we go. What a beautiful day. This is how the Ikebukuro West entrance looks like. It's a big square. Today it's November 22nd, 19 degrees. Yeah, for November it's really warm. Two meter per second wind. So that's pretty warm day for November. In this square, there is the signature of the Ikebukuro here too. They are the Ikebukuro. By the way, all in Japanese is Fukuro, Fukuro. So it's Ikebukuro's all Ikebukuro. There is a Taito Game Center. Also, there is McDonald's too. Oh, now they have the Christmas Frappuccino. Looks pretty good. Next to McDonald's, there is Katsuya. Katsuya is like pork cutlet version of the Yoshinoya. Yeah, they have a good and a cheap tonkatsu. They used to have lemon ramen over here, but no anymore. Now they change it to the different kind of ramen. Seems like it's popular though. There is big camera, but as you can see, this side of Ikebukuro, there are many buildings. Oh, really? The beer pumper. It's my very first time to see that. Interesting. Those are all company buildings. There are many companies exist in Ikebukuro and usually located in west part of Ikebukuro. So it's interesting, but uh, especially for kids, not that fun to visit. It's interesting though. But if you want to see the local business town, this place might be interesting. Another interesting spot is over there. There is a Tokyo Metropolitan Theater and Westgate Park. What's that? It seems like some event is going on there. I guess some artist is performing over there. Interesting. Sometimes there is fun event over there and also Next to this Tokyo Metropolitan Theater, there is a beautiful park. This place is more like square, 
In the nighttime, this place light it up and it becomes really beautiful. There is cafe too. Oh, my favorite place to take a rest. <laughs> there is fountain. Sometimes some artists perform there. So that's the west part of Ikebukuro. As you can see, there are not that many travelers over here. East part of Ikebukuro, more popular. So let's go to the east part of Ikebukuro. In my videos, I usually introduce popular places for travel and also local places as well. So if you haven't, please don't forget to subscribe so that you will not miss my new videos. Oh, by the way, hey guys, welcome back to Ryan's TV. I'm Ryan Seno Gao. All right, so let's keep walking. Let's go. Now, let's go to the east part of Ikebukuro Station through this building. Tomorrow, it's the national holiday and the weekend comes. So probably tomorrow will be more crowded. This is the smaller version of Loson, small convenient in the station. Speaking of Ikebukuro Station, it's located in a little bit far from the center of Tokyo compared to Shinjuku and Shibuya. So the town's atmosphere is a little bit different. Those are the coin lockers in front of the station. Seems like many places are used. However, still there are many empty places too. So is the exit? This is the way to go. Yep, everywhere. Christmas atmosphere. Inside the department store, it's super crowded. Probably people are getting ready for the weekend. Let's keep walking. Here we go. We are at East part of Ikebukuro Station. Yep, the town's atmosphere is totally different compared to the West part. There is big Don Quixote here too. <laughs> Look at this art. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. <laughs> I like it. Now, let's go to check most popular part of Ikebukuro, Sunshine Street and Sunshine City. It's a bit far from the station. You can just cross the street and turn left here. After cross the street, keep straight and turn right here. The street entrance is almost there. Yeah, just over there. Yep, that's the place. Here we go. This is the entrance of Sunshine Street. Seems like not as crowded as I thought. I thought this place would be more crowded by the travelers, but uh, not that many, huh? Oh, really? There is a new game center. They used to have Sega game center over there, but it's closed down. And then now they have the new one here. Let's explore. Oh my goodness, inside the amusement center, it's much cleaner. Nice. There are just so many crow machines. <laughs> Pikachu. Oh, is this the Gengar? No, seems a little bit different, huh? And the soap container of the slime from the Dragon Quest. Oh, that's Hoshino Kirby's humidifier. Interesting. There is a money exchanger machine too. Seems like this place is like a casino, huh? What do we have in the second floor? <laughs> oh wow, more claw machines. Really? Those are the snack claw machines. This one as well. <laughs> That's one piece, so many Luffy's. This kind of game center's atmosphere and the old time, it was pretty bad and kind of dirty, but now it became super clean. I love this atmosphere much better. Cleaner claw machines, more fun to enjoy. Also, there are so many gashapon and the club cafe there. Oh my goodness, look at this! It's mochi ghost. So cute. Oh my goodness, look at this gashapon. It's so Ikebukuro. You can place this key holder with your favorite. It says Uchi no Oshi, meaning my favorite. All right, let's do it. I want to get the donut one. I need to break the bill. Here we go. All right. 
Okay, so the price is 300 Japanese yen. Oh my goodness. The gacha phone used to be all 100 Japanese yen. Expensive one is 200 Japanese yen. But now, regular gacha phone is already 300 Japanese yen. Anyway, so let's see what we got. Oh, is it blue? Maybe donut? We can sit down here. By the way, we can see the street beautifully. Loving it. From the outside, we can't see it at all. Let's see what do we got. <laughs> Is this a donut? <laughs> oh my goodness, it's super cool. Oh, here. Okay. Is this a donut? Is this a donut? Oh, this. Oh. How is it? Well, maybe I can recognize it by the shape. Is this Mickey Mouse? No, 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 no. That's something wide, so... Don't know. <laughs> Sweet, it's Stitch. I take it. We return the capsule over here. Recycle. So here, small Japanese lesson. Your favorite called Oshi? Oshi. Well, it's not the formal word and a relatively new word. So probably older people don't understand, but uh, yeah, I call it Oshi. Oshi. All right, let's keep walking. There is round one. The bowling place and the amusement center. Also, big Uniqlo there. Game center was there. They changed it to the drugstore. When the Sega Game Center closed, I thought the Game Center is not popular anymore. However, seems like it is still really popular. Because that's a Game Center and also the Round 1 Game Center. And plus, over there, the new one and another one over there too. Yep. Compared to Shinjuku, this Ikebukuro Sunshine Street is for younger generation. Yeah, no wonder, right? And that's Sunshine City. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Seems like this building totally conquered by the Nitori. Nitori is really popular Japanese furniture store. It's like IKEA. I love IKEA, but uh, I love Nitori too. If you never try, you can try it. That's pretty good quality. Let's go to the Sunshine City. Oh, really interesting. Now the aquarium in Ikebukuro having a Terra Night Aquarium. Well, aquarium, there are many cute animals over there. So I'm wondering how to make it as a Terra Aquarium. Sounds very interesting. There is some real cafe. Oh my goodness, so cute cakes. And the taiyaki store. <laughs> Smells so good. Let's keep walking. <laughs> so this is the entrance. If you are heading to the aquarium and planetarium, this is the way. And also... We are here now. And if you are heading to the observatory, this is the elevator that you want to take. I love Christmas season's shopping mall atmosphere. It's really relaxing. And also this place is popular for the, some artist event as well. Many artists have event here. It's a really nice view from the top. Oh my goodness, look at this Snoopy! The Santa Claus version. So cute. Oh, there is soba restaurant. I'm starving. Seems like they have the set menu too. Why not? Let's try here. All right, sweet. Let's eat. So those are the menu items. They have soba, udon, and also katsudon. I was thinking to order this udon and the tendon. However, this one seems interesting. With the small udon with sesame seed sauce. I've never tried it. Comes with tendon too? Why not? Let's try this. So here, small trivia of Japanese food. If there is a deep fried tofu on the udon, we call it kitsune udon. And this one is kitsune, meaning fox. And if there is a tempura on top, we call tanuki udon, meaning Japanese raccoon.
I don't know why people call it the kitsune udon and tanuki udon. However, yeah, that's what it is. So if you want to eat the deep fried tofu udon, just order the kitsune udon, meaning the fox udon. And if you want to eat the small tempura on top, then order the Japanese rakun udon, which is tanuki udon. And also, speaking of the soba and udon restaurant, usually they have the set menu like this. Not only you eat the soba and udon, you can also add the some rice menu like tendon or you know pork or the curry. Then you can make it full. So if you eat a lot but uh, you want to eat the soba, don't worry about it. Yeah, most of the places have the set menu. Oh my goodness, look at that! Smells so good! Alright, let's eat! I was starving! So excited! I love smell of tempura! Well, it's the same menu, so it's really simple tempura. However, I love tempura, so I don't care. Itadakimasu! Mm. So Inside here, there is the squash and also the shrimp tempura. Squash in Japanese called kabocha, kabocha. However, many Japanese think it's not a squash, it's pumpkin. When I start learning English, I also call this as a pumpkin. However, I meant squash. Probably many Japanese still make mistakes. So, if some Japanese friend who doesn't speak English much start talking about the pumpkin, just imagine, you know, they meant the squash. Yeah, that's really common mistake for Japanese. Mm. Even me sometimes calls it pumpkin too. And yes, it's my favorite shrimp tempura. I really like eating rice with tempura sauce. Yeah. Even with the tempura, I can finish the rice. Metoshi. So here we go, now it's time for soba. Here is the sesame sauce and also the soup for the soba. Alright, so here is the question. Can you take a guess what's the bottom of this dish? You see there are two floors, right? So bottom. What do we have? I give you a time, five seconds. Please think. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. And answer. Could you guys take a guess? So let me give you guys answer. The answer is. Ta -da! <laughs> Yes, we have the soba double. <laughs> so yeah, if you're a soba beginner, don't forget to finish this one too. So first, let me start eating this with the sesame sauce. Oh my goodness, looks pretty good. Itadakimasu. <laughs> mm. Mm, it has stronger taste than how it looks like. Nice sesame flavor, a little bit salty. I love them. And the next, let's go to the next stage. Yep, here we go. <laughs> the same one here. But the sauce is different. So this time, let's do soba sauce. Different sauce. There are many veggies. You can add it if you like. You know, let me just place it all. Mm. It's the shiso leaf and the green onion. The shiso leaves flavor perfectly matches with soba. It brings the very nice flavor. So if you visit Japan, make sure to try the shiso leaves. I love them. Place the seaweed, becomes better. 
Speaking of soba, whenever I'm tired, I try to eat the soba because it's good for digestion. So, you know, if you got the jet lag or hangover, probably you can try the soba. Stomach of my dream. And this is the last one. It's the soba soup. We can mix it. And then now we can drink it like a soup. Yeah. Well, the sesame sauce had a kind of strong flavor, but after mixing with the soba seed, yeah, it gets mild taste and it's pretty good. Ooh, I'm so full. Speaking of the price, it was 1,100 Japanese yen. Thinking about the place, I think it's pretty good. Eh? All right, so let's keep walking to the next spot. Next spot is Sugamo. Let's go back to the station. To the station. We can just follow the sign. Can you believe that it's still 4 p.m.? However, already the sky color has changing. Today's sunset time is 4.30. Yep, will be pretty dark soon. Now we came back to the Ikebukuro station. We will use the JR Yamanote line heading to Sugamo. Sugamo is really popular city for the elder people. It's like, you know, Shibuya for Grandpa. There is beautiful park too. We have to get there before it's closing. If you are heading to Shinjuku and Shibuya, those popular places, take the train from truck number six. If you are heading to kind of country part of Tokyo, take the truck number seven. There's Sugamo and also Nippori Ueno too <laughs> It's far though So if you are heading to Ueno I recommend you to take a different train Seems like train has arrived Oh sorry That's a different one oh, But seems like it's coming Going to Sugamo Only takes 5 minutes to station subway We still have 20 minutes for the last entry, so should be fine. Let's keep walking. Yeah, now is the time to go home for students. That's why there are so many students here. From Ikebukuro to Sugamo costs 146 Japanese yen. Welcome to Sugamo! There is a popular arcade, Jizo Dori Shotengai, over there. But firstly, we are heading to the Rikugien. Which is the, this way over here. Let's keep walking. You can just keep straight in this big street. Turn left and keep straight. You see the park in front of you. Yes, that's Rikugien. Well, right now it's 421 and the last entry is 430. Hopefully we can save time. Yes, let's keep walking. Quick. Ooh. All right, must be there. Almost. Let's keep walking. Sweet. We made it. Alright. Still 26, so we can enter. Price is 300 Japanese yen. We can pay it with the train IC card. Alright, so this park closed at 5 p.m. Let's explore. So this is the map of the park inside. It's my first time to enter Rikugien. Hopefully you guys enjoy the sunset time park walk. Oh, they sell dango here. So many different kinds of mochi. Wow, nice tree. Compared to Shinjuku Gyoen, this place have more places to eat and drink. This Rikugien is smaller. However, very nice atmosphere. As I explained in the last video, Japanese park are not closing for 24 hours. However, this kind of paid park, there is closing hour. So if it's a paid park, most of the places they close. But if not the paid park, opens 24 hours. By the way, 
That's the matcha cafe. Speaking of this Rikugien, this park has over 300 years history. In the Edo period, this place was the big yard for the shogun, which is a general in Japan. In the springtime, there is a big nice sakura, and also in the autumn season, which is supposed to be now, yeah, they change the color to the red, and this place becomes really beautiful. So there is a many poet like this in the park. Probably, uh, if you don't understand Japanese, you can't understand what it means. But uh, yeah, it's the historical park. What do we have here? Wow, that's huge tree. Oh, what do we have there? Oh, that's the place to take rest. Speaking of this Rikugien, during the winter time, this place will be lighted up. However, if you want to see the light up, you have to enter in the different time zone and you have to pay more. The regular entrance fee is 300 Japanese yen. However, if you want to come over here during the night time, it's 900 Japanese yen. You can enter here from the 7 p.m. though. <laughs> All right, let's keep walking. Let's go. Oh my goodness, look at the moon. Beautiful. <laughs> There is a life-saving equipment here too. Seems like hasn't used it for a while though, but uh, it's good to have it. This is one of the iconic spot here, Togetsuki Bridge. <laughs> well, we have to walk carefully, otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> we need to use this. Can't wait for the autumn leaves. This place becomes must be really beautiful. Alright, so let's go to the next spot. So it was about 20 minutes. If you want to walk around here, probably 30 to 40 minutes is enough. If you want to relax more, then probably an hour. <laughs> this gate looks like a Harry Potter. Yeah, this is the one I was talking about. You need a special ticket? The night time lighted up. Oh, I see. Starting from today, huh? Now I see. Since it's a beginning day, they are getting ready for the lighted up ceremony. Let's go back to the Sugamo station and let's explore the arcade. By the way, next to the Rikugien Park, there is another park too. Here, it's free to enter. So if you don't want to pay money, you can come over here. Oh, interesting. Seems like this park also closed. However, most of the park in Japan, they never close. Seems like it's a nice park. Many kids are playing. We are almost the Kitaku region, but still here, it's Bunkyoku. Bunkyoku is the region that Tokyo University exists. Generally talking, this place is really good for kids' education. So many education-conscious parents choose this area to raise their kids. Main part of Bunkyoku is more south part though. Finally, we came back to the Sugamo Station. Now, Let's go to check the arcade. You see the entrance over there? That must be the Jizodori Shotengai. Oh, it's the local fruit store. Smells pretty good. Almost there. Oh, what happened to the Chochin, which is a lantern? Seems like many of them are broken. Oh, that's huge Jizo. This statue called Jizo. This place smells nice incense smell. As you may realize, town's atmosphere is a little bit different compared to the Minatoku area, which is the Roppongi. 
you know, those kind of areas. There are many English speaking community in south part of Tokyo, but north part of Tokyo, still, it's old fashioned like this. This place is still near the area of Yamanote Loop Line, but uh, depends on the station. It is totally different. If you are the expat living in Japan, don't speak Japanese much, probably you want to live south part of Tokyo. Oh, still there are many local shops here, huh? Oh, interesting. That's rice cracker selling separately. Japanese tea shop and a local shoe store. Those are the traditional Japanese snack store. Also, those are the miscellaneous stuff and also the Buddhist items, I guess. Oh, and that's a shop. The cart for grammar. Yeah, Japanese grammar always pushing this cart. I was wondering where they get it, but seems like here, huh? And that's the store for pickled veggie, I think. Or maybe fish. Yeah, very interesting arcade. Especially for traveler, I believe. Well, maybe if you have visited Tokyo many times and kind of got bored with travel spots, probably you can visit this Sugamo area. Very interesting. So the last spot is Suidobashi, where the Tokyo Dome City exists. Let's keep walking. Heading to Tokyo Dome City, Lakua, use the Mita Line, Tokyo Metro. From Sugamo Station to Suidobashi Station, four stations away. Here we go, we arrived to Suidobashi Station now. From Sugamo Station to Suidobashi, it costs 178 Japanese yen. After getting out from the A5 exit, you can find the entrance super easily. This Tokyo Dome City Lakua is my favorite place. Oh wait, <laughs> really? That's under construction. Are they rebuilding something? Let's go upstairs. Oh, this place too. It's under construction. Seems like they are rebuilding the place. This Lakua, there are many attractions and the rides. It's really fun place. And also, beautiful Christmas lights. So yeah, I recommend it. But... Oh, wait. Uh, we could go to the next theme park over there. But seems like because under construction, we can't go. Probably they are getting ready for the Christmas. Yeah, I didn't know that. That's okay, let's go from the different side. <laughs> Seems pretty fun. By the way, those ride, you can buy the ticket separately, but there is a one day passport too. Price is 4,200 Japanese yen for a weekday, 4,500 Japanese yen for a weekend. So it's not that expensive. Let's keep walking. So that's Tokyo Dome. Many events and also baseball games are held usually over there. Already Christmas light has started. Yes, it's really beautiful place to take a walk. So that's why I love this spot. And relatively, it's quiet compared to other places too. It's a nice tree with the Christmas tree. <laughs> Still November though. All right, sweet. From here, we can go to the main part, Lakua building. It's the theme park and also the shopping mall. Oh, sounds like some event is going on there. I'm wondering what's going on there. Let's check. Oh, uh, seems like that's a stand-up comedy. Japanese popular stand-up comedy usually stand two people on the stage and uh, they talk each other. So it is kind of different compared to the other country's stand-up comedy. We call this manzai, manzai. It's really fun and uh, they always talk like fast tempo. So first, 
you need to understand Japanese really well. And the second, also, they talk about the cultural stuff. You know, always comedy. If you don't understand the culture, you can't understand what's funny, right? Yes, so it's really tough for foreigners who are living in outside of Japan. But, you know, if you study in Japan and you understand the Japanese culture, maybe in the super advanced level, you can understand the banzai. Ganpatte. In that building, there are many restaurants and the shops, so you can enjoy the shopping as well. This Lakua, in the sixth floor, there is the spa, spa Lakua. It costs 3,230 Japanese yen, which is a little bit expensive compared to the other places. However, there is a nice steam room and a nice bus too. One of my favorite spa. If you love spa, maybe you can try that. Here too, one thing you have to be careful is that if you have a tattoo, you can't enter though. Yep, most of the shops having Christmas event and also Black Friday too. <laughs> Here, my favorite chocolate. Their yeah, chocolate is pretty good. Seems like they have so many seasonal chocolate now. 10% off. Oh, really? They have the advent calendar for the Christmas. The chocolate version. <laughs> oh my goodness, this must be good, huh? Sweet. Love it. The best part of that store is that, uh, you know, whenever I enter the store and uh, consider which one to buy, they always give us the sample, the chocolate, and uh, it's yummy. <laughs> of course, not only because of that, but I love that store. Oh, they have so many different kinds of snack. <laughs> Those are the snack for beer. Ah, oh, this Santa Claus decor is so cute. <laughs> and this mirror bowl. We can make party. Oh, that's a bubble bath soap. In Japanese, called New York Zai. Compared to the other countries, one, there is no bubble much, but you know, the regular bus become like an onsen. Now seems like every place having the Black Friday sale. Several years ago, no store had the Black Friday sale though. And here, we can see the town beautifully. Loving it. So now I came to the back street. Hopefully this place is not that noisy. So today, I visited not that popular places compared to the Shinjuku Shibuya, you know, those kind of places. However, there are many attractive places in Tokyo still. Yes, there are more and more adventures are coming, so if you are planning to travel to Japan in the future, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you will not miss my new video and surprise live stream. Also, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, it will really encourage me to keep shooting videos. But hopefully you enjoyed the video and you feel like virtual traveling to Japan through this video. Big thank you to all of my Patreons. If you haven't, please don't forget to check my Patreon account as well. All right, so see you in the next video. See the girl. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye bye. Yep, finally, the Christmas season has came. Tokyo Town will be lighted up more and more for the Christmas lights. Really excited. Yes, Christmas is my favorite season. What's your favorite season of the year? Please let me know in the comment. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and it feels like virtual travel to Japan through this video. So see you soon.